we've been up to Alberta before with Sherwood Outfitters, but our two uh, interns were going to go up there and try to get their first black bears. Should almost, yeah. Got some field spray because Chuck forgot to start picking it up for him as usual. He's too worried about his phone calls, is what it is. So you guys normally fly up there, drive up there, how do you get up there? We fly to Edmonton and then usually Tyler picks us up and we go four hours north. We have a camp where they set up these little cabins, which is kind of cool, and then they have a kind of a mess hall type deal where everybody comes in and eats their breakfast and stuff. But what we didn't realize is the snowstorm that was coming in. Typically, you know, you're out fishing in the middle of the day and then you go bear hunting. Well, it was so cold last year that it snowed like I think six or eight inches while we were there. Time to start talking. I looked up, I had a tree on set up, I just started. I got up the tree. You know when you're full of confidence, oh, you're full, full of oh, confidence, yeah. you, 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 you know it's gonna happen. Next bait I went to, the oats, the oats had already poured them out, were dried up on top. Three pig heads in a barrel. The oats had never been, nothing, nothing never been licked to touch there. You know, when Hunter first came on board, he said, man, I don't mind driving or nothing because once I'm up, I'm up all day. And uh, that's really not the case with Hunter. Yeah, when we started traveling, it was cracking me up. We're like 15 miles down the road, he's out. And then when he wakes up, he wants to stop and get as much candy as he could possibly get. We are uh, currently on our uh, way to the stand, as you can tell. We are uh, a little stuck, but uh, stay with us. We're going to make it happen tonight. Open season TV, baby. You know, with all the snow that they had last winter with the melt off and stuff, I'm sure just getting to the bait and to the stand sites was, you know, they were getting stuck, they were going through mud. It had to be a uh, adventure in itself. Don't try this at home. So after the basically the first day, we got a bad snowstorm. So the second night came, those guys took off, we took off, and there wasn't a lot of bear movement, mainly because I, I think a lot of them were still, you know, in their dens. And uh, they got in their stand, got settled in, and the rest is history. We're here to share what out bears in Alberta, Canada. It's May the 6th. It's our third evening in here. We just uh, drove through freaking mud puddles like crazy. Super freaking muddy. We're still hoping to get it done. We got in earlier tonight. Hoping we'll beat the bear to the bait. So uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned.
got him. Come back. <laughs> I think he's gonna come back. He started going the other way. He's down, dude. Dude, he's gonna go nowhere. See me like the smack down. Let's go. You know, Hunter, before they went up there, he said he wasn't picky. He said uh, first legal bear that he wasn't gonna be embarrassed with, he was shooting. Yeah, he wasn't lying. I just smoked one. <laughs> Dude, we've been sitting here for five and a half hours. I'm so cold. You know, a lot of people are uh, kind of weary about hunting with a muzzleloader, but if they see the damage that a muzzleloader caused, it's amazing. That bear didn't have a chance. Yeah, and that Acura V2 is awesome. So it was a perfect gun for those guys to use. And I think they were a little nervous about bear hunting because they'd never you know, seen him or been there. So it was a perfect weapon for them. It's open season. <laughs> open season. And we got a bear down. First bear. I don't think I mentioned that. That was my first bear. First one I've ever seen. Besides the zoo. Okay. Just got down from the stand. We're both pretty freaking stoked. I'm stoked. <laughs> it's my first bear. About to go check it out. Stay with us. You know, they had just came on as interns and we really hadn't taught them anything about filming. So this was all new to them from filming hunts to a bear hunt. So it was quite the adventure. It's my first bear here at Sherwood Outfitters in Alberta, Canada. And I was lucky enough to harvest him tonight. It's about 8.30. We were sitting for about freaking five and a half hours freezing. Weather's been terrible and we just got happy that God was on our side and everything worked out tonight. I could not be more freaking stoked. I want to thank Brad for coming up here with me and getting all this on video, man. This is freaking awesome. You know, the cool thing about this is they went up there, they hunted together, you know, they were filming each other, but it was a two bear hunt and they ended up giving each other one hunt apiece. Right. And I think for them, you know, that worked out. They actually became good friends and started really filming a lot together. And, so, you know, it's a good thing for everybody. Done, man. That's right. Okay. First one bites the dust. I don't think it's huge, but I don't even care. Yeah, he's, he's I guess I'll drive in.